Chill, chill, chill. You already know it's your boy Joe back at it again. Codingface.com. Your boy is back and out and did it again. All right. So, how does it feel to be a developer that first week, right? When you become a developer and you get hired that very first time, how does it feel? I'll be honest with you guys. It is very nervous situation. Like for me, I was like, I was pretty nervous because number one, you always gonna have imposter syndrome. Even though you know how to do something, you always gonna doubt yourself and be like, oh man, I don't know if I can do this. I don't know what they're gonna ask me. I don't know if they're gonna make me do something that I've never done. Am I gonna fumble? Am I gonna be like, you know, typing something and like somebody's behind my back and I'm gonna be nervous. Can I focus like that? Those things are definitely gonna go through your mind right that's one two what you're going to be doing is pretty much the whole week is just setting up your local environment to match whatever the company is right so they might come in and ask you hey what do you prefer do you prefer Windows or Mac right and then it's up to you to set up the system so they'll tell you okay here are our credentials to whatever big bucket or github um, you know, there's our repo, clone it, uh, you know, let's say you're working on, on Laravel, they're going to tell you, hey, install MAMP or, you know, Homestead or whatever they use. Then from there, after you set up your local environment, you're going to be giving small tasks of just looking at the, the website or the web application, get familiar with it understand where everything is at, the controllers, how things are working, pretty much just play around with the website, right? Then from there, your next step is going to be to pretty much, they'll give you like a little task, right? A little task to see at what level you are. I mean, do they need to hold your hand the whole time? Do they need to basically just give you a task and you're going to get it done because you already have a lot of experience with that framework or that program language or whatever it is, right? So they're going to give you a small task, something simple, see how you react to it. Of course, this right here is very important because it might dictate the way how people will look at you which is the, the, the part where it, it will make you nervous because you're like, man, if I don't get this first task done properly, they're going to think that I suck, that I'm a horrible developer, that I don't know what the hell I'm doing. So all those things are going to go through your mind. You're going to be pretty, pretty nervous about it. Now, do you have to be nervous? Mm, yes and no. I mean, yes, because it's your first time. No, because they hire you. You know what I mean? Like, they already believed in you. They already believed that you can do the job. So now it's just about getting familiarized with whatever system they got. You know, like how they push to live, how they, um, you know, how, but what exactly is it that you're gonna be doing? Are you gonna be doing more front end? Are you gonna be working more in the back end? Like, those are the things that in reality, you're going to be doing that first week. So you shouldn't be worried because you already know that they hire you for a reason. They want an extra hand. They need the extra help. So now it's all about you just getting used to their process and understanding what the hell uh, they do, how, how they work. So just take it easy. Don't stress it too much. Just relax, chill, and you will be fine. Right? It's just it's just the first week, man. The first week is always hard, especially because you don't know uh, how are your co-workers. Are you going to enjoy working with them? Uh, are they going to be you know fun people to work with? Because like it or not, being in the office for 8 to 9, 10 hours a day is exhausting. Right? So if you're going to be there for that long it better be with somebody that you enjoy working with you know what i mean so yeah man 
you already know it's your boy joe back at it again codingphase.com your boys back and out and did it again make sure you check out my website codingphase.com where we release uh basically like uh videos that are not here on youtube but you know exclusive content at the same time we have courses for you to become a better developer so i will definitely check that out i will definitely say guys check it out and and take the time to just register man you know uh, YouTube is not gonna be here forever but at least if you are in my platform at least we could always stay in contact and we you know you could always ask me questions man it's like a direct line to me all right guys so I'll see you guys later Bow. you already know it's your boy Joe back at it again man listen make sure you subscribe and make sure you like this video man by the way, if you want to know exactly what courses I took to become a web developer, they're right there in the description. It's no secret, it's nothing crazy, it's no secret gift that I had, it's just pretty much I took the courses, they're pretty cheap, they're like $15 each on specials, and just, listen man, change your life, change your lifestyle, do something fun and something cool that you could call a career. Bow.